I'd like to now invite John Jones to bring a message from the both of the journalists, but also in his capacity from Norway. Thank you, Deepa. Uh, I, do, I have some good news for you. I'm greeting you from Norway. Um, a year ago, we gathered in a church like this. And a year ago, we met, gathered in a church like this with a jazz concert in combination with good voices like John Shipton and uh, Christine from Wikileaks. And uh, after that, the smearing of Julian has stopped in Norway. The leading, the leading um, broadcasters are actually speaking nicely of it, which is a, a shock to me, but it's, it's great. It's possible to turn the tide. I have a greetings from you. Uh, maybe I should say that that meeting, that church concert, was headed by the St. Julian Free Campaign, together with, with the Penn Norway, which is a rather good group. I have two greetings from you, to you from Norway. One from Professor Max Andenes. You might know him as the former chief or chair of the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. And Max says, Dear Julian, it's directed to him, who will forever be grateful <coughs> for what you have done and still do and what you represent together with WikiLeaks. Your work touches on and upholds the very essence of what our civilization and our society is, yes, our very lives <clears throat> rest upon. Justice and a legal system we can all have confidence in. Your contribution cannot be overestimated. Thank you. <coughs> that was Max. The second comes from um, a leading an icon, an icon of free speech in Norway. A publisher called William Newgod was almost killed after he published the Satanic Verses in Norwegian. He survived the bullets, but he says, Dear Julian and friends gathered here this evening, justice will prevail. <clears throat> the British and the US authorities will have to let you out. We say justice will prevail. Thank you.